In photography, contrast is the difference between how bright the highlights are and how dark the shadows are in your photograph. First of all, when you take your photograph, depending on where the light is coming from and how direct or diffused it is, will have an effect on the contrast of your image. If you take a shot in the middle of the day with harsh sunlight, those shadows will be dark and the bright areas will be really bright, so there'll be a big difference between the two. Whereas on an overcast day, the shadows will be subdued and the brighter areas will be a lot less harsh, so less difference between the two giving you a less contrasty image. Also, when you go to edit your photographs, you'll come across a contrast slider, and you can adjust this to suit, changing the difference between the darker and the brighter areas. But changing the contrast in your images can do a lot more than just that. If I move the contrast slider of a black and white image, when I decrease the contrast, the image starts to look flatter. As the darker areas get brighter, and the brighter areas get darker. As I increase the contrast with the slider, those darker areas get darker and the brighter areas get brighter. So as you increase the contrast, you can make a photograph look more striking. But you do have to be careful not to blow out your highlights or crush your shadows, which basically means you'll start to lose details in those parts. Now, if I do the same with a color photograph, different colors have different luminosity values. Now, this is a fancy way of saying that they have different levels of brightness. So in changing the contrast in your image, it will have an effect on saturation as well as your contrast. You may have come across this already when editing your photographs. You change the settings and sliders, but then you might think it needs a little bit more contrast. You then change that contrast and all of a sudden it looks oversaturated. And this is a byproduct of that contrast slider. You might have to then readjust your saturation or vibrance to suit once you get that contrast where you want it. So editing really is a case of getting the balance right between each of your different properties in your photograph. Dark blues, dark reds, browns, dark greens, to name a few, will all deepen as you increase that contrast. Whereas light pastel colors, yellows, oranges, and bright reds, and maybe bright greens as well, will all become brighter. So the next time you adjust your contrast, either in camera or more so when editing, just keep an eye on your saturation levels. But know that as you increase or decrease your contrast, this will change the difference between your brightest parts and the darkest parts of your photograph. Now, if you like this video and want to learn more, click here next. Or if you're a binge watcher, now if you like this video and want to learn more, click here next. Or if you're a binge watcher like me, click down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for two new videos a week. I'll see you next time.